Guys, Joe Mixon has just done it. He has eclipsed another running back in Cincinnati Bengals history for the most rushing yards for the Bengals. Now, we're going to talk about all the players today that he still has to beat. Can he beat them? Is it possible? But also, who did he beat so far? So starting off right away, Rudy Johnson is the first guy on the list here. He was a former fourth round pick by the Cincinnati Bengals in the 2001 NFL Draft. And in his career with Cincinnati, he started off a little slow. He played seven total years with us. But the first two years, he actually only played two games. Uh, then the second year, he played seven games. But then he really started getting going in his third year. And from 2003 to 2007, which was, again, the years he played for us, he went ahead and had 49 touchdowns, 5,675 yards rushing, and one receiving touchdown with 554 yards. So he put up almost 6,100 yards of all-purpose yards and 49 touchdowns. Actually, total here, he put up 6,229 yards and 49 touchdowns with 14 fumbles in his career with the Cincinnati Bengals. Obviously not including his first two years, but his first year, he only had 67 rushing yards, so... It wasn't like he put up that many crazy uh, stats in his first year. Nonetheless, though, Joe Mixon, after last game, has officially beat that. So right now, Joe Mixon is sitting at a total of 5,744 yards with 41 touchdowns. For comparison, obviously, this is just when they were with Cincinnati. But 5,742 yards and 48 touchdowns for... Um, Rudy Johnson, and then for, of course, our man Joe Mixon, 5,744 yards. So, he has now, what, two more yards rushing overall for his time in Cincinnati than Rudy Johnson does. So, look, I mean, I'm not saying that it's much more. Obviously, it's not. And he also has seven less rushing touchdowns. So, he has, he's going to have to get seven more rushing touchdowns to beat him out. I will say he has more receiving touchdowns as he has 10 and Rudy had one. And then also he has 1,800 receiving yards, which Rudy had 500. So scrimmage yards wise, he does actually surpass completely Rudy Johnson at 51 touchdowns and 7,600 and uh, 7,600 yards overall. So again, like I said, does actually surpass Rudy Johnson, who had 6,300, and then of course had 49 touchdowns total. So not bad. But the question is. How about the next two? Because let's be honest, you probably know one of the next two guys because they're, they are Bengals legends. And the next guy on this list is James Brook, which was a first round pick by the San Diego Chargers back in the 1981 NFL Draft. Obviously back then, you know, times have changed. Back then, running the ball was more prevalent. Uh, the passing game didn't, hasn't opened up as much as it has nowadays. But he did play for the Cincinnati Bengals from 1984 here all the way to 1991. And in that time period for the Bengals, he put up 6,447 yards, 37 touchdowns on the ground, with 3,012 yards and 27 touchdowns through the air. Which, so let's be honest, will never, ever probably get beat by any running back in Bengals history in the future. Because that is honestly very, very crazy. Um, nonetheless, so he put up 9,459 yards, and of course, he also did put up 64 touchdowns and 31 fumbles. So, comparing that real fast, again, back to Joe Mixon here, it's going to take some time for him to get to that point. I mean, for rushing yards, just rushing yards, he only really needs 700 more rushing yards, and if he does play three more years, actually, it's very reasonable he could hit that, and he could actually beat that record. He already has more rushing touchdowns than um, James Brook did, which is awesome. Now, receiving yards, again, he would need around 1,200 more receiving yards to beat that, which is possible, but I don't think, I don't know if he's going to hit that. And then receiving touchdowns, he would need 17 to beat him. So, overall wise, it actually, you know, I just said that I don't think any Bengals running back is going to do it. It's actually possible. It's actually, actually, actually possible for him to do it here that's crazy to say that but maybe i was spoke too soon there because joe mixon could potentially and he only had six fumbles in his uh what six seasons so far so let's now look at the last and final candidate 
and the guy that's going to be very, very difficult for Joe Mixon to beat. You already know, one of the best running back, if not the best running back of all time for the Cincinnati Bengals, Corey Dillon. A former second round pick in a 1997 NFL draft by the Cincinnati Bengals, Corey Dillon, as they call him, clock killing Corey Dillon. And I'm not surprised, okay? I'm not surprised they call him that because that's what he was. He was a monster. He was an absolute animal. He played for us for a total of seven seasons before the controversial situation went down. He got traded to the New England Patriots. And then he played three seasons with them and he won a Super Bowl with them. So, shout out to them. He did go ahead and get a ring in the end. But as you guys can see, he did put up a total of 11,000 total yards with all the teams that he has played for. But he did also put up, what, around 3,400 yards with the uh, Patriots. So how much yards did he put up with us? That actually has to get beaten by Joe Mixon here. And that's a total of 8,061 yards, 45 rushing touchdowns. Which, again, like I said before, let's just keep in mind the fact that Joe Mixon does have 41. So it's possible that he could, you know... In the end there, you know, maybe potentially beat him out there. But he would have to put up around 2,400 yards to beat Coy Dillon. Now, is it possible to put up 2,400 yards? Yeah, it is. It's very possible. Um, if you have two 1,000-yard seasons, let's say, in the hypothetically speaking, the rest of this year he has four, 500, six, or 600 more yards, he could beat Coy Dillon. It just would... It's going to be hard, but it's not impossible. He also needs four more rushing touchdowns, well, five more, to beat Coy Dillon's rushing yards. Uh, Coy Dillon had 14, 1,482 yards and five receiving touchdowns. And, you know, Joe Mixon has already beaten that. Receiving touchdowns and receiving yards. So, overall-wise, again, it's very plausible, depending on how many more years, you know, we have Joe Mixon for here, that he could potentially beat out every one of these records. He could beat out James Brooks. He could beat out Coy Dillon. And obviously, yes, he already beat out, you know, Rudy Johnson. It's very possible he beats out the other two guys, too. Which is crazy to say. And now that he took a pay cut, and he's obviously going to stay with us this year, and then, you know, next year most likely, too... You know, he just has to it has to keep going, man. You got 11 or 12 more games this year to go through, right? Then next, or actually technically 11 because you have a bye week. 11 games this year, 17 games next year. So 28 games. How many yards does he have to average a game? Let me see this. So first off, how many more yards does he need? Um, 8,061 minus how many? 5,074. So he needs a total of, if you, if let's say he plays the rest of the season, right? And he plays the rest of the next season. He needs 82 yards a game on average to beat out Corey Dillon. 82 yards, 83 yards in theory to beat out Corey Dillon. He needs to average that every single game for the next 28 games. So far, he has not been doing it. He actually has not hit 83 yards one time this season. So, and again, keep in mind, you know, if he has a game where he has like 100 yards or 200 yards, whatever, that helps out and that, you know, kind of can balance over. Think about like a, you know, a, um, you know, like uh, numbers uh, climbing up, right? So if he has like 150, well, that counts pretty much almost at the equivalent of what he needs to get two games. And then therefore, you know, it helps him out. But yeah, he needs to have some big games. He really does if he wants to beat out Coy Dell. And not again, at the end of the day, you know. All he cares about is winning. He doesn't care about looking at the stats and saying, Oh, I'm so close. But it's a nice achievement, right? These are things that are nice achievements to get that you might you just might not look at, it, you know? But as a player, a lot of these players, they look at this stuff and they like it, you know? It's, it's nice to see, wow, I actually was able to do this. I was able to do that. You know, this is something that they take pride in. So while, yes, it might be something small, it's fun stuff to kind of look at and, you know, break down. But with that being said, guys, we have a bye week this week, so it's going to be an interesting week. We can finally calm down, relax, and chill, and we'll see what, uh, I almost said Corey Dillon, Joe Mixon can do versus the San Francisco 49ers. See you guys next one. Peace out.